This is Rico Figliolini, and with Page Frequent is Life.com, a podcast, and I'm here with a special guest here at Anime Weekend Atlanta. This is something I've been to last year. My kids have told me about it, and uh, so I'm out here uh, on a press pass, and we're interviewing my special guest here, Bryson Bacchus. Bogus. Bogus. Yes. Bogus. Like August, yes. And Brian's first time in Atlanta, actually. Yes, it is my first time here. It's, it's pretty great. I like it. Now you've been, uh, you're from Texas. Yes. What part of, what part of Texas? From a uh, Houston area, um, sort of. I grew up Rosenberg, which is like like a suburb kind of south of Houston, and okay. then went to school. But that's where I'm at now. Are you Houston. in college? Or are you... I just graduated college in um, uh, August. So I was doing a lot of this voiceover stuff while also going to college at the same time. It was so. pretty hectic, but like I'm done with all that now, and so I have a lot more free time to do A little, little stress on that? Yeah, and getting grades and doing the work. Yeah, but I still still managed to get a lot of A's, which is good. That's what, always good. What was your major? I was a theater major, uh, acting, directing. Oh, okay. so I got a so, BFA in that uh, in the mail right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to you. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> no, let's hope. The um, you you've been doing voice over work though for a while, I think. Right? Yes. So um, how long has that been? And what was your first? What was your first one? So my first. Um, like professional level voiceover work. I did some extra voices for an anime called Dramatical Murder. Um, it's more of a niche show at the moment, and then I did some more shows after that where I was just extra voices more so um, before I got the named characters or anything like that. Um, that was back in July of 2015, so that was about three and a half, no, three and a quarter years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's it's been a been a hot minute. A yeah. hot minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you're enjoying it. I mean, you've been on some pretty good... I mean, you've been in... Uh, you know, is it wrong to pick up Girls in the Dungeon? That's fairly popular. And, yeah. And Darling and the Friends, that's extremely popular, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, and that one just came out this year, too. It's yeah. it, That was a great show to work on. Um, Did you enjoy it? Yeah, you can't, when you do this, you're not really working with other actors. You're mm-hmm. single-voiced studio work. Yeah, so basically it's it's us in a booth by ourselves, and we pretty much have to rely on the director, especially if it's something that we're not familiar with. Because the way that we record things is we just go from line to line. So I record my line, and they skip the episode all the way to the next time I talk, and so on. So you oh, really right. have to rely on like the director for context of the scene and, and all that stuff, especially if it's something that you haven't seen before. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Just had lunch. <laughs> There's, uh, so wait, when, so when you do that, the, you know, one line by line, they're going to feed you like saying, okay, you're scared now, and this is a part where you've lost it, and how do you get to that emotional path? Um, it, you, it really, especially with anime specifically, it helps a lot that the animation's already done. Okay. Um, so we, we go in after the animation has already been finished, we're just dubbing over the, the previously animated stuff, and so it helps, I guess, for me, it helps put me into that kind of, kind of I can't talk today. I talk for a living. Uh, uh, it kind of puts you into that mindset and that mood, just seeing the image up there, and right. it helps just kind of tone it down. And it's a very um, somewhat secluded environment, so it's easy to just kind of like zone into that emotional zone into it. Yeah, okay. and, and you get to watch it because some of, some of, some directors don't want people watching the anime. Yeah, but you're okay. I mean, during that show, it was fine. It, yeah, it just depends. Some directors uh, will request that you don't watch it. Other directors think it helps um, so that like they have a better understanding of what's happening in the story. Um, I think it just depends on director to director. If I have the time to, I prefer to see it just so I know ahead of time what's coming. Sure. But that's just me, myself as an actor. Um, but then there's other times when there's no time to see it ahead, especially if it's a longer series. Right. Um, and I just don't have the time to go watch ahead sometimes i'll go in for a show and i don't even know what show i'm going in for until the day that i go to record so like yeah um (laughs) that's that's usually when it's like a smaller role or like a side role or something like that um but there have been shows where i'd play like a side character like for i think for food wars i just knew i was going in for food wars Uh i had no idea what character i was going to be playing i didn't know so uh, I kind of like just watched like the first episode or two and I was like who could I be out of this and I kind of was like I could probably be that guy I could probably be that guy but I had no idea um, until I like got in there like who I was actually going to be so that really works when they say you're that guy yeah <laughs> I was um, I was watching listening to some other interviews you've had mm-hmm. um, the 
Now, what, what, do you like playing rambunctious characters? Do you like playing characters with stati uh, sadistic streaks? Or uh, uh, what, what's your favorite character? That you like um, hmm. Probably, probably the more down to earth characters that are still like kind of positive. I think Bell from from Dungeon specifically kind of fits that sort of niche that fits me best, I think, because he's very similar to me. He's very positive. He's very friendly to people. Um, and he sits in a very natural, like, part of my voice. Um, it's fun to do zany uh, voices all the time um, every once in a while. But I think I think my favorite kinds are the ones like that are like Bell or Hinata that are kind of more just my natural sort of tone. Uh, Hinata's just basically me excited all the time. Hinata from Haikyuu, it's a volleyball <laughs> anime, um, for, for those of y'all who don't know. Right. Um, but yeah, that's... that's. Do you, do yeah. you, are you athletic also? I, my brothers are. I tried doing sports when I was a kid, and I would either... The reason I didn't like soccer or... Uh, I didn't like doing soccer because I was afraid my, my shins were going to get kicked, even though we had shin guards, right. I was still scared of that. I didn't like baseball because the socks were itchy, <laughs> and uh, that was the main reason that I didn't want to do baseball. I was just never that huge into sports. Um, I did like kickball though, because it's basically ba it's basically baseball, but you get to kick the ball. Yeah, it's instead. amazing. They, they've made adult kickball, but the kickball league now too. Oh so, really? Yeah. Isn't that, Maybe I should get into that. That's an easy sport. <laughs> yeah. Um, you also do uh, gaming gaming channels with yeah. friends and too, too as well. Yeah, so I um, I do run a gaming channel with some friends from high school. We started it back then um, just as a fun little thing that we do. It's called Oh So Tasty, which has a – it's Oh So Tasty Productions. And, like, the backstory of that is that, like, um, our high school used to sell, like, breakfast tacos in the morning. And we, they would always announce it on the, like, loudspeaker be like, just go downstairs for like two dollar breakfast tacos. They're oh so tasty and bubble. And we were like, let's just make that the name of the channel or something. And so it was great. Sounded, they sounded just like that. Yeah, they, they sounded just like that. They're like they're oh so delicious and oh so tasty. And it was it was so funny because we would make fun of how they said it all the time. Um, and yeah, and then I also like stream on Twitch and YouTube mm -hmm. every now and then. I don't do it super frequently, but I've been doing it a little bit more recently than I used to. So that's a lot of fun. So, and this is the first time you said that you've been in Atlanta. So you really haven't been out checking out the sites, or? Have uh, I've I've not checking out the sites, but I have been around the town a little bit. I have a friend that lives in the area, and so he was like offering to like give us rides anywhere we want to go. Oh, so I, I think the first place we went to was some, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a place that has taco in the name, but it's primarily a wings place. Um, I can't remember what it was called. But then last night we um, last night we had dinner at a place called OK Cafe. Yeah. Um, in I guess North Atlanta area. I don't know exactly where that is in relation to here, but it was it wasn't too far from here. It was it was great though. Um, you've been you've been working with Funimation also. I think, right? Yes. So um, Darling in the Franks uh, it was the the main show I've done at Funimation. It was my first show up there with my friend uh, Clifford. He's a great director. He wanted me for the show, and so yeah. I made it. I made it work around my school schedule to be going up to Dallas every once in a while. Because how would you know him? Uh, you know? So I knew him from like almost ten years ago. Uh, I started off in like an amateur community, and I, I I try not to go into too much detail about like what kind of stuff I did, but like I. We both kind of started from the same place, just through these online communities who would do like amateur projects here and there. And so, like, it was super cool for me whenever he first started doing stuff at Funimation, be like, "Yeah, that's my friend doing all these cool roles, and now he's directing too." And then eventually, he was just like, "Hey, come be in my show." And like, it's great that like my first show at Funimation got to be with somebody that like I already knew for such a long time, and like, and it was he, it was great. And he knew he knew you, he knew exactly yeah. what, what, what to get out of. Exactly. Yeah, it was cool. it was great. Is, um, is that is that something you might think you'd want to do also? I mean, voiceover is great. There's other things you do. Mm -hmm. Is that actually maybe something you'd like to do? It's something that I'd probably like to tackle down the line. Uh, I do have a degree in directing. Like directing is part of the degree that I got, um, and it's 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 something that looks really cool to be a part of. Um, every time I'm like in the booth at in Houston or in Dallas, it's it's cool to see how. Um, the directors try to solve like different problems if there's like an issue with the translation or if um, they're trying to get a certain read out of like 
the actor without telling them straight up. Just say it like this. Uh, it's 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 really just cool because yeah. um, a better director yeah. actually gets you to that place rather than exactly. telling you exactly. how to say it. Yeah, cool. So, um, where can people follow you? So I oh yes. Yeah. So I have a Twitter. Um, I have a Twitter. It's at Bogus Bryson. My last name, first name, uh, B A U G U S B R Y S O N. Um, and then I also have an Instagram. It's the opposite of that. It's at Bryson Bogus. Yeah. My handles are all over the place because I made them before I knew I'd have to promote them. Uh, <laughs> the, the branding will come later. Yeah. Okay. And then I have a Facebook page. I have a public Facebook page. Um, and then YouTube. I'm under Bryson Bogus and Bryson Bogus too. And Oh So Tasty Productions. That's where we put up gaming videos every now and then. So. I got a few places, and, and I guess you know um, you get to uh, you get to do some Italian cooking too. Italian cooking, I can make a mean <laughs> fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Um, we're here with uh, Bryson Bogus. 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 Yes. Doing that. My last name is Figliolini. So you can imagine <laughs> that. That gets done. Of course. Uh, but thank you, Bryson, for being with me. No problem. Anime Week in Atlanta.